Hello! Today, I'm super excited to share a quick video showing you how to deploy Dial with a DeepSeq R1 model. This allows you to self-host a completely open source Gen AI environment on your machine in just a few minutes. If you've already deployed Dial plus Olama server by following the directions in part one of our Dial Community Edition video series, then all you'll need to do is change the environment configuration file to point to your DeepSeq model of choice and Docker will handle the rest. Today, we'll walk you through exactly how to do it all from scratch. The only prerequisites are Docker and access to Git. I already have Podman and Git Bash installed on my Windows machine, but you should be able to use whichever tools you prefer for your environment. Some common ones will be linked in the description below. First, let's go to the repository with Dial plus Olama server in it. We'll clone it and navigate into this folder. You'll see a .env file for environment configuration. We will modify this to include our DeepSeq chat model, which we can find in Olama's search as per the documentation. In the interest of saving some time and system resources, I'll just select the 7 billion parameter one for now. Make sure you copy just the desired model and not the whole command here. We'll enter it into our environment config file and launch everything with Docker Compose. We'll use our docker compose up command with the build flag to launch it, and we start pulling in all the docker images that we need. After it pulls in all the requirements for dial, you'll see it starting to pull in our DeepSeq model as well. Within a few minutes, this version of R1 is downloaded and automatically deployed. Once you see the message that Olama server is up and running, you can navigate to your dial host and port. Here, we'll navigate to localhost port 3000, We'll select the chat model from the list, and we're ready to ask R1 anything. Of course, like all dial models and applications available in the GUI, this model is now also accessible programmatically via API. Please feel free to check out our other videos in the series for more information about how and why we build custom dial applications. Thank you.